width of this wall and it's at right about 113 inches. So I'm going to take 113 and I'm going to divide it by 3 and then I'm going to go along and mark this wall into three separate sections. We picked this piece up of galvanized steel at this uh, sheet metal place and I paid $40 for it and it's much cheaper than Lowe's had and it also is a lot bigger than what they had. They didn't have any of this size that I needed. So I put this entire sheet on the wall myself with just some nails and a hammer and then after I had it all up on the wall how I wanted it I just took the nails out and screwed it into the wall. If you have someone to help you, you could also use a drill bit. Okay, we got that up there. And now we're gonna move on to the second section over here. And I already got my walls marked. I just gotta put some tape on them. I'm really, I'm lucky to have a mom that took me. That's my playroom. Aw. Make sure the tape is as straight. This is for you guys, YouTube. If it's not straight, then it won't look good. Then I just painted the middle section with some semi-gloss paint. And on the left hand side I just used chalkboard paint. To give it a finished look and to frame it all out I used some crown molding up on the top and I guess you're not supposed to nail or screw these in. You're supposed to use uh, liquid nails or some sort of glue but <laughs> I used screws. And then to separate the chalkboard paint from the regular paint and then from the paint to the galvanized steel, I just used MDF molding and I just cut it down to size and again I just uh, screwed it into the wall I'm using my leveler to make sure that it was perfectly straight on all sides. I found these threaded eyelets in a picture hanging kit that I had. And I just put some electrical tape up to hold the banner because I didn't know if I wanted to use the banner or not. But after I got it up with the tape, I realized that I did like the way that it looked. And um, like I said, I just put some electrical tape up there to hold it in place. And then I put a mark on both sides, making sure they were even. Um, and then I used a little tiny nail and took the nail out. And then I just screwed those little hangers in there. So that way the, ba the banner would have something to hang on to. And I can always change the banner out as needed too. I found these vinyl numbers at the dollar store and I was like, oh my god, these are going to go perfect on that banner. So I just taped them up on the banner. Then I needed to make um, some sort of hanger for the for her artwork to be displayed on it. So what I did was I measured from the ceiling down and I put a mark where I wanted to put those eyelets and I did the same thing. I put a little tiny nail where I marked it and then I took the nail out and I just screwed those eyelets into place on both sides. I was going to use this braiding cord but once I got it up onto the eyelets I didn't like the way that it looked and it really wasn't that sturdy either. So I decided to try wire and see how that worked. And once I got it up there, I actually really liked the way that it looked. And what I did was I just wrapped them around the eyelets several times and made sure that like nothing was sticking out of it to where it was going to poke her, even though she can't really reach the top one that well. But, you know, for safety reasons, we don't want anyone getting poked. So I just wrapped it around several, several times around the, um, around the eyelet. Then I had these shower curtain hook hanger things laying around, and I just took the big round loop off of it and it left me with just that little clippy thing right there. So I just put it onto the wire and then I used the pliers to close it all the way and the cool thing about these is that it will still move side to side so depending on how big of artwork she has it can be moved around and it's still sturdy and it's not gonna you know fall off of there. Thanks for watching!